All right, guys, I've got a treat for you this week. Um, this was such a score. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard of the skate brand Iron Cross at all, or if you know Justin Ashby. Um, if you don't, all good, because I didn't. And so I had actually seen this up on uh, Kijiji, which is a buy-sell trade site. I frequent it quite a bit as well as Facebook Marketplace uh, for anything interesting. And I noticed this board, and there was a few things that stood out. I mean, the ad said it was a 1989, original 1989 uh, Iron Cross skateboard. And so, um, Justin Ashby. And so, again, because I didn't know much about Justin Ashby and Iron Cross, I didn't really think much of it, but there were a few things that stood out to me. Um, so this thing is in like mint condition, all right? Like just beautifully minty condition. Here we go. Um, little bit of wear on the tail. Um, these trucks are minty condition as well. And so this is what stood out to me. We have some OG Phoenix going trucks on there. Really nice condition. Um, we have these Santa Cruz bullet wheels on here, which are awesome condition as well. Let's see if I can get that pointed right. And so these things are awesome. So these are the Santa Cruz bullet uh, 97A 63 millimeter um, what are the speed wheels? Uh, the bearings are not OG, um, but the, the risers are as well. And these are the cell block three bar risers uh, that are on there, uh, which is cool. So lots of cool parts on this thing. So I had looked at it a couple times, um, just, <clears throat> just decided to reach out and say, hey dude, look, would you be interested in some sort of trade? Um, I wasn't at a point where I was really wanting to drop money on it. Um, but I had a couple of reissues that I was selling and was, you know, would be willing to do a trade with them. He was cool with that, so I gave him three reissues and he gave me this beauty. And so, um, at the time, like, I didn't know if I was going to be winning or losing with it. Um, I didn't know because, again, like, it's got some cool parts on it, so I know there's value there from the trucks, the wheels, the, the cell blocks. Um, from a deck standpoint, um, I find out it's super rare. Uh, which is good and bad. The bad thing is, if you don't know about it, there's not a lot of perceived value to it. Um, but for those that do know about it, um, there's some good value to it. So if you're the kind of collector that is interested in collecting, you know, Powell's and brands that we recognize from the West, um, you know, or skaters that we recognize from the West, because Iron Cross is a West brand, uh, so it is a North American brand. It's just that um, it wasn't around that long. And Justin Ashby is from the UK. And so, uh, if, yeah, but if you're, you know, interested in more collecting the Vision, uh, Sims, uh, Schmidt Stick, whatever, Santa Cruz, um, then this might not be the board for you. If you're interested in skate history and if you're interested in really rare decks, um, then this is right up your alley because this thing is so super rare. So Iron Cross, let me just give you a little bit of history here. Uh, Iron Cross started in 19, late 1988 and was only around, in, uh, around until about 1991. So it was Steve and Art Godoy who are twins, uh, both skaters that started uh, Iron Cross skateboards. And so I'm going to attach actually an article um, just in the description. It was a Skate and Annoy article back in 2001 or 2002, where they sit down and talk with Stephen Art, and uh, they just go through the history of Iron Cross. They go through the history of those guys. There's a pile of good information in there, so I'm not going to regurgitate it. There's not a lot of information out there as far as Iron Cross skateboards, and definitely not a lot out there, again, from a North American side of things with respects to Justin Ashby. So I would encourage you to read through that because there's some awesome stuff in there. So a few of the things that they talk about in that article is, again, I mentioned they were twins. So they were born in uh, 1967. Um, they're skaters, obviously, artists. They do tattooing. They still do tattooing. They're musicians as well, played in a band for a long time. They're both artists. Uh, so they've done a lot of skateboard graphic art. They did Danny Way's first graphic, or so it says in this article, they did Danny Way's first graphic. Um, John Schultz, uh, Tony Magnuson, um, other guys they've done, you know, art for, obviously, their decks. Um, it was actually Justin Ashby, this, this pig graphic here, it's Justin Ashby that did this graphic, um, which is really rad, and we'll get into that in a bit. Um, but just a little bit more here on Steve and Art. Um, so they've obviously skated for other brands as well. 
um, Art with skating for Zorlac and then Tracker Trucks and, and Tracker Decks. Uh, <clears throat> Steve at one point, excuse me, Steve at one point skated for Powell, um, but he was skating for Tracker Trucks and Decks as well. And then in 86, they both went pro and they were skating for Kryptonics. Uh, and then uh, later in 86, so they left Kryptonics and went over to Skull Skates. Um, and they stayed with Skull Skates until around 1988. 1988, uh, Art started skating for H Street, so that relationship's important. And Steve started skating with Circle A. Well, later on in 1988, as I mentioned earlier, um, Iron Cross here was around from 1988 to 1991-ish. That's kind of the time frame, so late 88 to 91. And so, um, while they were skating for H Street, later in 88, they decided to um, start Iron Cross. And so they had reached out at that point, had a conversation with Tony Magnuson and Mike Ternas Ternaski, who were the owners um, of H Street. And so H Street was involved from the standpoint of helping with funding, production, and distribution. And so this deck, as far as quality, is very similar to what the H Street decks were. Uh, it's a seven ply uh, maple. It's a really, it's, it's a wicked deck. It really is. Uh, such a cool concave too. I'll give you guys a look at that there. But um, they actually call this, if, I don't know if you've seen that yet down there, but the hell concave. Um, and the tail on this thing is just so crazy. It's like they just took the wood and bent it up. Uh, it's so aggressive. It's awesome. Um, but such a sick, sick deck. Very late 80s, you know, styling. Um, but yeah, love this. So yeah, so um, H Street, again, was involved from a funding standpoint. They were involved with um, production and distribution. And so that's essentially Iron Cross. Go into that article, read more about it. They'll talk more about it. Who is Justin Ashby? So Justin Ashby, again, we didn't know him that well over here in North America, but he was hugely popular over in the UK. So this graphic comes from a place called Pig City. So it's Brighton, England, UK. And so the reason why it was called Pig City, because in the late, or sorry, in the mid 70s, skating was just starting to blow up. And so people were starting to get concerned. They sent in all of these police and the police were constantly monitoring the area. So they called it Pig City. Um, there's Pig City Skates there, and so their logo is very similar to what we would see with Dogtown. Um, and also I think the mentality was just very similar. And so Justin was part of the Pig City um, boys, you know, skater group there, uh, and um, skate team. And they, um, they're just, they're kind of like the Elva guys, they're like the Dogtown guys, where they skate because it is in their soul. It is just something that they're ridiculously passionate about. They're not thinking, how can I monetize this? They're just like, we just want to skate because we love to skate. And so uh, they do a lot of do-it-yourself skate parks where the cement is not, you know, meticulously poured and stuff. Like, in fact, if you see some of these parks, you'd want to ensure that you have your tetanus shot before you skate there kind of vibe. Um, but just a really rad skate culture. And so that's where Justin came from. Uh, he was really well known in the you know mid to late 80s there from a vert standpoint. You know, still a big name over in that area. Um, but that's where Justin came from. And so hence the graphic, the pig from Pig City, Brighton, uh, UK. You guys can go on and do some research on that. Again, there's not a lot of information out there. You have to dig deep. And I don't know if it's just because, you know, our network or our internet, you know, doesn't allow us to see all of the stuff that if we were in UK, we would be able to see. I don't know if it works that way or not, but anyways. Um, so yeah, so we can see the art down here is by Justin Ashby. Um, this says Iron Cross Skateboards, copyright 1989. And so when I posted this deck on my Instagram story, uh, I had tagged um, Steve and Art just through their tattoo shops and Steve got back to me right away. So we actually had a really rad conversation. He wasn't in a rush to leave. He was blown away that I had this deck and that it was in the quality that it was in. Um, one of the things that they actually say in that 2001 article is that this was one of their better selling decks. They sold it really well in that at that time they just they didn't have any um, because they were they were all gone. And I guess, you know, that was 2001. And so, I mean, it was already quite a few years after 
well, 10 years after they had shut down, but he was just saying that there, you know, you couldn't find these decks around. And so here we are, uh, well, 2001, 20 years later, and I've got one, you know, pretty much minty in my hand here. So stoked to get that, and he was really blown away just to see this deck and to see the quality and had a lot of memories associated with this time. And so let's just uh, dive into the specs here quickly on this one. Uh, okay, so we talked a bit, a lot about all that stuff. And so guys, obviously this is an old deck. I can't just go on. I tried to find calendars, I tried to find, or catalogs, tried to find ads. Couldn't find anything for this deck, and so I took some of my own measurements here. They're not going to be perfect. I'm just kind of rounding to the nearest 0.25. Um, and so, yeah, anyways, let's get into them. So from a length, we're looking at 30.5, roughly. Again, this is not precise, but roughly 30.5. Um, the width is about 10.25. Uh, the nose is approximately 4 inches, and the tail is 6.5 inches. We have a wheelbase, so in between the trucks here, of 15 inches. And obviously, with it being an OG deck, I'll pull up my riser for kicks and giggles. I think that's the right way. What does it matter? Anyways, we can see it's the old school hole pattern. All right, and so the graphic on here as well is screened, and so that old school process where they're actually putting the paint right onto the deck. Uh, if you guys noticed here too, there are a couple holes in the deck. And so he did have, the owner did have rails. So he bought this board in 89 in Brampton, Ontario, rolled it like for two seconds, and just for whatever reason, didn't like the feel of it. Um, so he stored it and then he had it around, pulled the rails off it and had it mounted on his wall. And so these are one, two, three, four. So it's the old school hole pattern from a rail standpoint, um, because the newer ones, if you look at the um, power rib bones and stuff, they all have five holes. That's probably to help so they don't rip off as quickly. They feel if you have five, they're just better, uh, a little bit stronger in there. And so I do, in fact, have some Nosh uh, Schmidt stick uh, rails here in black and white. Now the black ones, though, the whole pattern is just slightly different, but these white ones fit perfect. So if I wanted to, I could throw them on. I would prefer the black ones, but again, I don't want to re-drill extra holes in here. So I'll probably leave it as is. I actually like seeing the full graphic, who knows. Anyways, guys, again, there you have it. I'm just so stoked on this. Um, Iron Cross Skateboard, Justin Ashby, 1989, OG goodness with some OG Santa Cruz, uh, bullets, speed wheels, 97A, 63 mils, OG going Phoenix trucks and the OG cell block three bar risers. Doesn't get much better. All right, peace out guys. Cheers.